Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with Toolrev, and today we're looking at three six and a half inch blade left cordless circular saws. We have the Makita 18 volt LXT model XHSO3, the Milwaukee M18 Fuel model 2730, and the DeWalt 20 volt max model DCS 565. So these are the latest models currently available from these guys. They all have rafter hooks, LED lights, and brushless motors, which makes them even more compact than the already small brushed units. This is my DCS391 brushed. This has been my daily carry for about eight years now. All three of these brushless units have a no load speed of 5,000-ish RPM and magnesium shoes and blade guards except for the lower guard on the DeWalt, which is plastic. On that, I can tell you having used this DeWalt for the past eight years, these plastic guards are very rugged, so if they reduce the weight, I'm all for it. In this case, however, the DeWalt with a five amp hour battery and a blade weighs 7.7 .7 pounds, where the Makita with a five amp hour battery, blade, and magnesium lower guard weighs less at 7.6 pounds, and the Milwaukee comes in at 8.5 pounds. The Milwaukee's been out for about seven years, the Makita for at least six, I believe, and the DeWalt just came out a few months ago, so it should have the advantage, but Milwaukee still claims their saw has up to 30% faster cutting and twice the runtime of the competition. So we're gonna test that out right now using new batteries and the new blades I installed yesterday before making my first round of test cuts. All the blades have equal use and all three batteries have been fully charged We'll make a few cross cuts through some dug fur and then on the same battery charge, see how many rips each saw can make before running out of juice. And we'll alternate saws between rips to give them time to cool down. So after six cross cuts each, they all still have full bars and they've been resting for about five minutes. So now we'll do rip cuts to see how long the batteries can go, how many linear feet we can get out of each battery. I'm gonna take it nice and easy, just let the saw do the work. All right, so there you have it guys. Today's results are consistent with what I found yesterday, which is the Makita has the best runtime followed by the DeWalt. And they're all pretty fast speed-wise on the cross cut, but the Makita is faster on the rip. And that makes sense because it was the smoothest cutting saw uh, followed closely by the DeWalt. The Milwaukee is a little bit rougher. It has a little more chatter. I also think the grip is a little oversized. It's only about a quarter inch larger in diameter than the DeWalt, but there's a pretty big difference. I have large to XL hands, and I think this is this feels a little too big. It's a little more tiring to use, where this feels uh, perfect to me for my hands. So the Makita also has a nice grip, but the rafter hook does kind of get in the way. Uh, it does interfere with your pinky a little bit. That said, I think this is the best uh, rafter hook of the three. I think it balances the saw the best. The Makita and DeWalt both have dust ports. The Milwaukee does not, but only the DeWalt actually came with the adapter, the dust port adapter in the box. So you just snap it on. 
Uh, all three saws have a front slot for a rip fence, but only the Makita has a rear slot to accept their guide rail adapter, which turns this into a track saw. So that's a nice feature. And only the Makita has a 45 degree hard stop. You just turn this knob from 50 to 45. The shoe, I think, has the best action. It's smoother than the other two. It has easy to read silver on black rulers. It is the smoothest cutter. It has the best runtime and it has really good balance. And again, I like the rafter hook on this the best, even though it interferes a little bit with the grip. The DeWalt is your bare bones meat and potatoes saw. It does not have a 45 degree hard stop. It has harder to read silver on silver uh, rulers, but it is a smooth cutter and it does have good balance. Uh, the one thing I don't like that they've added is the lead light because it shines in my eyes when I look down at the blade. The Milwaukee, like the Makita, has a lead light that does not shine in your eyes, which is good. I think this has the best front sight inlay. Uh, the rulers are easy to read, black on silver, and I like the depth adjustment on this over the others. It has these little red marks and slots you can line up. Overall, it's a good saw that I'd be happy to own, but it does not cut faster or longer than the competition like Milwaukee claims, at least not this competition. As far as blade left versus blade right, if you're right-handed, a blade left saw gives you increased blade visibility and better control on rips because the shoe rides the material, where blade right saws give you more control when cross-cutting for the same reason, and vice versa for lefties. These are all good saws, and if you get one, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.